Now, as I said, t today, uh, July the 25th, we celebrate the Feast of St. James the Apostle, and he was the first of the apostles to give his life for Christ, for the man in whom he placed his trust, Jesus. Uh, he was king, uh, killed by King Herod um, Agrippa, and he was uh, martyred in the, the normal way people were martyred or killed in those days by being decapitated. Now, interesting, as was reading uh, the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians this morning, uh, preparing for Mass, I thought, how well it fits in to the present moment. So when you understand a little bit more about it, uh, you'll see uh, what I mean by that. So we hear Paul there saying, uh, we were afflicted in every way but not constrained, perplexed but not driven to despair. Isn't that how many of us today feel? Um, we feel afflicted. And of course, I'm referring to what is happening in all our lives at the moment, no matter where we are, who we are, or what we have. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always carrying about, knocked down, but getting up again and carrying on, going ahead. He, at that time that Paul wrote that particular letter to the Corinthians, he would have been very, very aware that at that time, every two years in Corinth, um, they held big games called the Ishmian Games. And they were the equivalent, and in fact, bigger than the Olympic Games. And another interesting thing is that last night, uh, Friday night, July the 24th, would have been the day, um, and there would have been a, a big opening ceremony last night in Tokyo, but for uh, the pandemic. So it's interesting that this morning, the morning after, we're here talking about the games that were used to take place in Corinth every two years. And so uh, there would be all, all the different sports would be taken part. There would be wrestling, which was very important or very, uh, very, very uh, popular in those days, and boxing and running and so on. And of course, people would be knocked down and they'd get up again. And, it did keep going, they never, they never give up. They kept trying and trying and trying. And that is where we, we come in, in today. I think, I think, first of all, I want to, don't want to go on too long about this. First of all, we got to look at ourselves, where we are at this moment. And for many of us, realize that we are very blessed, very blessed, because most of us are not affected with the coronavirus. We're, we're affected with the consequences of the coronavirus. But just for a moment, pause and think how much you have to thank God for this morning. And that comes across in the letter to the Corinthians. Paul was always thanking God, even though he went through all kinds of difficulties, flogged, beaten, locked up in prison, shipwrecked, but he never lost his trust in God, in Jesus. And that's where we've got to be at, at the moment. Put our trust in Jesus because 
He never lets us down. He never forsakes us for a solitary moment. So many times to today, especially if you are going through difficult times or you're feeling uh, despair or loss of hope at the moment, well, a beautiful little prayer to say from the heart is, Jesus, I trust in you.